This is the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries, and I'm Travis Zimmerman. You know, we parents, a lot of times what we'll do is whenever our children fall into sickness or they get injured or something bad happens to them, we'll say to ourselves, you know what, if, if, if only I could take that off, if I could take that on for my children. You know, God made good on that promise very tangibly on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And I praise God for this. One of my sons, Grant, was opening up a futon. We had a futon down in the basement for our company that was coming in. And the futon normally is like a sofa. And you can fold it out into this bed. And it's a metal futon with, a, of course, a cushion on top. And it was stuck. And Grant came up to me, and I was trying to take, you know, trying to do something really quickly. And Grant said, Dad, I can't get the futon open. So I ran down real quickly, and I've done this dozens of times, but there's this catch that's between these, you know, b between the rods. And it's, just, it's basically this big mechanical advantage. So when I pushed the lever to release it, this happened to my finger. <laughs> And it basically, I mean, it's, it's the most macabre thing I've ever seen in my life. My wife has been through a lot of surgeries, but it, it basically cut the tip of my finger, you know, it, it fractured my finger and cut the fingernail off. And it caught me so quickly. I looked at it and I, 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 I almost panicked. I, I, I put a, a napkin on it, drove to Hershey Med Center and they saw it. You can see their, you know, the emergency department is used to seeing things like this, but even they were like aghast at how shocking it looked. So I almost went in the, in the shock, literally, I, mean, I, I, was, I was getting you know, faint headed and I finally just sat down and I prayed and said, God, just please give me the peace. And within 30 seconds, he gave me peace. And the lesson I learned on that is many, and it's this one, you know, Jesus Christ took on our sins. You know, so just as we parents, we want to take on thing, you know, that illness or injury for our child, because if that had happened to Grant, it would have cut Grant's finger off right like that. But I go to the, the, the words of the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 5, 21. God made him who had no sin to be a sin offering for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus Christ took that sin, our sin, on his shoulders. He basically said to the Father, you know what, I've got this. I'll take this. I'll take the injury. I complain about my finger. <laughs> you know, it's going to get better. Jesus Christ took all that sin on and gave me a very tangible example of how God, through... <laughs> God works through the Son, Jesus Christ, in His name, Father. Amen.